Yo, what is up guys? So for today, I'm talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're gonna be looking at Trials. And if you know my content, I don't cover many PvP stuff. Yo, what is up guys? So for today, I'm talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're gonna be talking about Trials of Osiris. Now, if you guys know my kind of content, I don't really cover uh, Trials at all. This is actually my first video. I do cover like other stuff here and there, like Crucible, uh, quests. I pretty much cover everything PvP aside from Trials, mostly because I'm not a Trials player. I never was, never will be. And I say this after playing like a good few hours of Trials last weekend, because obviously Summoner was the third win and I was like, I want, I want that shit. So, I ended up getting a few good rolls on my summoner. The roll that I actually wanted to get was one that I didn't get, which unfortunately means that I'll probably either farm it again or probably not, to be quite honest. I'm okay with the roll I got. I got moving target and rampage, which is fine for me. I don't give a fuck about anything else. The one I wanted was overflow and rampage, but whatever. And honestly, I'm going to be coming at you from a average player's perspective because that's pretty much what I am. I am not a god in this game at all, PvE or PvP. I think PvE, I think I'm like above average to like above of that. I don't know what that is. Um, the For PvP, I think like I'm average to above average. So probably, yeah, PvP uh, average to above average and then PvE would be like above average to whatever is above average so i i don't think i'm that great at pve pvp that being said i had a lot of fun and this trials weekend i had a lot of fun actually i was running it with the first team i ran it with was two two of my clan mates which are one of my best mates in the clan and we did pretty bad <laughs> not gonna lie we didn't even get to three wins but most, I think it was mostly because we, were, we still had the jitters. It was our first trial runs and we were really nervous. So I'm gonna chalk that up to like just jitters from the first few hours or first few hour of running trials. But then I ran it with two other clan mates, which kind of changed the whole thing for me. And it was pretty fucking wild. We ended up getting to five wins and which kind of kills me because we got to five wins and then we got a we got a team that was just like on fucking steroids and it kills me because like I really wanted to go to flawless I really was trying to get to flawless <sighs> and this is this is where I'm like the meat of the video for an average player you're gonna need you're gonna need some stupid luck or it's people who are like dedicated to caring people. And it just kills me. Like I'm not asking to get free stuff, obviously. It's just that I was really hoping that we could go, go to trials because we're all average. We're not stupid. Like we're not, we're not bad. But overall, for an average player to go tr to flawless, for me at least, I just find it as a pipe dream. It was just, no. I just I don't see it I really don't see it and I think that's what kind of kills me is like I really wanted to do it so flawless out the way I I know I wasn't gonna do it <sighs> but then we get to the other problems we get to the fact that we we had some runs like I think what was it our first round we ended up going against people who were like Oh, he has a hundred and something clears for flawless on our first run and we were like oh my god what the fuck I was against the idea of if people go flawless they get introduced to another playlist of people that just will go flawless that way people that have not gone flawless can go flawless immediately I like that idea a lot more granted I still think it's kind of like hand-holding but fucking hell man I went up against a fucking team that had like a hundred plus flawlesses and my team 
who didn't even have one. Who's gonna fucking win that? Please tell me who's gonna fucking win that. Not only that, but the fucking cheating in this game. Jesus Christ, bro. I'm literally not lying to you when I'm telling you I got fucking DDoSed from one match. And that was gonna be our third win. I got fucking DDoSed from it. I got so unbelievably mad. Or, let me tell you about the fact that each fucking person that we ran against either had a new profile, a private profile, or was just so blatantly cheating, it was ridiculous. And that's what kills me, is that the fact that, like, now, people are getting so smart to, like, how to cheat and not cheat, where we were about to win a whole round, and this one dude just turned on his aim, his aim shit and killed all of us with like stupid questionable shots. And granted, like I like to give people benefit benefit of the doubt sometimes. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm kind of fucking jaded at this point. But Jesus Christ, guys, like what the fuck? Like even I was even telling my friends, I'm like, dude, that was questionable fucking shit right there. Like, how how am I supposed to like how am I supposed to fight that? How am I supposed to fight? people who are either god tier or a fucking cheater it's really crazy that Bungie has not fixed trials at all and it kills me that it was supposed to we, we, we wanted not we, we didn't want to drop the ball on this this is like almost the exact words from fucking dev from Bungie and I'm just thinking dude the the fact that me as an average player does not even care about going flawless because there's literally no fucking point or because oh yeah what i'm gonna go for the for the what is it the class mark or the class item when i can just wait for it to go to either three to four wins or five wins fuck out of here dog or the fact that there's so many cheater cheaters or like i i get it there's there needs to be god players in the playlist but jesus fucking christ guys can you at least give me a fucking chance we got to five wins and immediately got placed with people who have literally been fighting trial players since the birth of their fucking lives like dude these dudes were so fucking sweaty it hurt my fucking eyes i hated every second of it but it sucks because like i really wish i really wish that Bungie could make some sort of matchmaking where it puts you to a team that's uh, like close to yours because if that was the case if it was like a win that was hard fought like it was like we were so close we were so close I wouldn't mind because I can like if it, if it was like that then I could be like oh dude like sure it was bad but dude like we were so close it's kind of like a we I don't know man it's really hard to explain like at least we were almost there but no, it's more of a, we were never there because literally these guys were doing aim hacks or were literally the goddess tears of everything. Like it's just so many things. And honestly, I'm only gonna be going for three to five wins. And if for some god godly reason, I get a team that can go flawless each week, because granted, I'm not gonna be the one that's taking us to flawless. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not a dog shit player. Let me tell you, if I die, I will tell you all the callouts. I will make sure you have all the information in your fucking hands. But I will die occasionally. I'm not a god. So that's my thing is like, I know I'm not a bad player. I know I'm a pretty good player because I know what to do and what not to do. I know like the strats. I know what to do. It's just that my aim is ass. And I could chalk that up to, you know, my hands literally shake. I have some sort of fucking genetic or whatever that makes my hands just shake for no fucking reason. Or I'm just dog shit. And I know I'm not dog shit because I'm never that bad where I'm like, oh my God, I'm doing so bad. I'm usually like middle to top on the leaderboards or not leaderboards, but like the scoreboard. So from an average player, this trials is just, it's too much. And I'm just like, at this point, just three, five wins, that's it. I don't care about anything else. It could look like I'm going flawless and I'll still think, I'm not going flawless, the fuck am I thinking? It's hopelessness, that's that's the thing. The hopelessness of me knowing I'm never gonna get that shit is what kills me. And 
if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. But I think Trials is just dog shit right now. I think it's fucking horrible. And for the few moments where it's fire and it can get that point, guys, don't get me wrong. There was moments where me and my team were wild in hell. But that shit is rare. And that's the unfortunate part. It's the, is that I really, really wish that all those moments were literally almost every match. Because if it was, I, this would be a very different video. I would be praising trials granted i probably would never go flawless but it would still be fun and that's what's missing so let me know what you guys think in the comments below am i wrong about trials let me know in the comments below uh the simple fact that i have to check people's profile to see if they're cheating or not is what pisses me off as well but yeah let me know what you guys think uh if you guys want to follow me on my social media listings are in the description below thank you everyone for the constant support i really do appreciate it and other than that i will see you guys later